This episode of Live Tech Australia brought to you by Jay's Earphones. Love music. G'day guys, Daniel here, Senior Editor at Live Tech Australia, and also today for this tutorial I am your resident graphic designer. Uh, we've brought you quite a few graphic design tutorials in the past, uh, which you can see floating around in the annotations, uh, but today we're going to show you how to touch up a photo, you know, blemishes, airbrushing, pretty quickly in Photoshop. Now this is recommended for CS5, Photoshop CS5. If you don't have it, you can uh, pretty much make do with the other tools, like the healing tools in uh, CS3 and CS4, but it's recommended to have CS5, so try and use that. Now I'm going to open up an image, uh, which I have here. And uh, we're just going to unlock the background layer. Now you can see, let me zoom in, you can see a lot of the skin texture. Uh, there's a few imperfections with the skin, like a few dots, blemishes, marks. There's even one here under the lip. So I'm just going to get the marquee tool. And as most of you know, in CS5, it's very easy. You just go fill, content aware, bang, gone. It's pretty much the same for everything else. You just select it, gone. So. That's what we're going to do for the blemishes, just fill, gone. Now, for the actual smoothening of the skin or the airbrushing, now I'm not sure if this is how they do it in the industry, this is how I was taught, so forgive me if I'm not exactly 100% on this, but I think this will be a pretty good way, quick way of, of doing it. So to get, you, want, you want to get your polygonal lasso tool, just make a rough outline of the head here, just at the hairline maybe. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to have the marching ants, you're going to hit refine edge. So we're going to hit refine edge, feather, so we're going to go down to feather, maybe about 30, um, just so it blends in with the skin, you can pick whatever you want. Then after we do hit that, we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and probably about 3.5 for this one, depends also on your image. I'm going to do about 3.5, then we're going to go back to filter again noise, add noise, and we're going to add about 1.5 noise, make sure you've got Gaussian selected, not uniform, and monochromatic. Uh, so yeah, about 1.5. Like I said again, depends on the image. So you can see we've got the noise there, when you zoom in you can see the noise a bit more. But you can see the forehead's already a bit smoother now, and now let's do the cheek. So again, get the polygonal lasso tool, do a rough outline of the cheek area get some cheek action going some airbrushing action so I'm being very rough obviously you can take your time finesse with the details for your actual project but for the sake of this I'm just gonna be very quick you can see there's a lot of like pimpled areas or areas where the skin isn't very smooth that we just sort of want to Smooth it out. Okay, so we've got that selected. We're going to go to Refine Edge again. Uh, feather about 30 again. Smoothen that out. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, 3.5. It keeps the settings from the last one. Filter, Noise, Add Noise, 1.5. So you can see the skin is already much smoother. Um, and it's a very quick way of airbrushing. That's how I was taught, and now I'm teaching it to you guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, I'm planning to make many more graphic design tutorials or design tutorials uh, in the future, so if you have any ideas for a tutorial, leave them below, and we may do an episode on them. So thanks for watching. Uh, all the links to our Facebook page, uh, Facebook page, our Twitter page, uh, all below, so check them out. Remember to like this video to support the show if you like this video and subscribe for some more awesome content. We'll see you later guys. <laughs>